So the first thing that we're going to do is to download the resources that we need for our development. Okay. So in our browser, um, let's type CodeIgniter and let's try to download that file. Let's go here, download, and we're going to download the CodeIgniter 3. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to download is Bootstrap. We also need Bootstrap for the design that we're going to have. So let's click this one and we're going to download the version 3. Click download Bootstrap and we're going to download this one. Okay, so aside from that, we also need a jQuery because it will be used in the part of the bootstrap because dependent yung bootstrap, yung mga JavaScript code niya sa jQuery. Then, we download in natin. So, sabi natin to. So, all we need to do is to um, right click and save us. Then, save natin siya sa downloads okay now since we already downloaded yung mga resources na kakailanganin natin for the development um let's try to copy those one let's go to the downloads and unzip the coding editor file extract natin yan then open that one and ito na yung um files ng code igniter then we're just going to copy this one copy then ilalagay natin yan sa ating sum htdocs then dito paste natin Then, let's try to rename this into something na kung ano yung gustong pangalan natin sa project natin. Sabihin natin profile management system. Yan. So, yung bootstrap file naman natin is we're going to place it in a assets directory. Then, let's go back to the download and unzip naman natin yung bootstrap. Okay, so we're just going to copy this whole thing. Copy and balik tayo sa SAM, yung sa project natin. Um, profile management system, then assets. So, yan. So, rename lang natin into as bootstrap lang. Then, yung jQuery naman, of course, we need to copy this as well. And ilalagay naman natin to within the um, assets directory pa rin, but we're going to place it under a JS folder. Then, gagawa rin tayo ng iba pang folder. Sabihin natin yung CSS. Kasi later on, gagamitin natin yan. And also for images. Just in case, kailangan natin ng mga images. At least, organize na yung files natin for our assets. Okay. So, once we've already done that, the next thing na gagawin natin is to um, start natin yung SAMP. Since I'm going, I'm using yung SAMP as my local server um, installer as package, um, I need to start this one. So, it's up to you guys kung ano yung server package na ginagamit nyo. You can use naman yung WAMP or even Laragon or you can have your own virtual machine. So, nasa sa inyo na yon kung alin yung setup ng local development server nyo. So, on my end, I'm using SAMP. So, let's just wait until my start na yung boat sa Apache at saka yung MySQL. 
So since okay na siya, all we need to do, we, we can close this up na. And let's try to run our application. So i-close mo lang itong iba. And type localhost. Then yung project name. Ano ba yun? Profile Management System. Yan. So, so ito na yung homepage ng Coding Nighter which indicates na successful yung installation or yung pag-setup natin ng Coding Nighter on our local development. Okay? So ngayon, the next thing gagawin natin is to open up a um, the directory or the, the project natin in the text editor na gusto natin. So nasa C na tayo. C, SAM, htdocs, the new profile management system. Close natin yung SAM. So basically, ito yung content or yung mga files ng Coding Nighter. Okay? So, nandito na yung asset natin. Nandito yung system, which is, this is the core files of the Coding Nighter. Ito naman yung user guide. Actually, pwede naman natin itong i-delete. But for now, gagamitin natin yan for the referencing of the documentation ng Coding Nighter. Kasi hindi naman lahat uh, ma-memorize natin yung Coding Nighter. So, let's try to open that user guide. And just double click this one. So, ito yung documentation ng Coding Nighter. So, everything na kailangan mong um, malaman about Coding Nighter, nandito na yun. So, if you want to know how to use this particular functionality, then you can just search it up and basahin kung paano ba siya gagamitin. Okay? So, gagamitin natin this, itong um, documentation for the entire development na gagawin natin. Okay? Okay. Now, um, let's start to create our first controller. So, kung may kita natin dito, may mga default controller na naginawa yung coding nighter. Meron din silang view file, mga sample view file. Na kung saan itong code, ito yung may kita natin dito. Okay, to yun siya. Ngayon, I want to create a new controller. So, yung gagawin ko lang, I need to copy this one. And create ako ng bago. Para minimal na lang yung ulitin ko. Kasi itong part, it is necessary na lahat ng file na gagawin natin is mayroong base path for security purpose. And then, um, gagawa ko ng new controller. So, papangalanan ko siyang account. Then, I'm going to save this course as account.php Okay. Now, um gagawa rin ako ng mga method. Um copy ko na lang to. So yung first method ko is index. So lahat ng controller guys kailangan mayroong index kasi once hindi natin ilagay sa URL yung method, yung default na tatawagin niya is yung index. Kaya it is a necessary na kay lahat ng controller natin mayroong index method. Okay? So the next method na gagawin ko is yung registration. Then we also have the login. So meron ako mga method. Ngayon, ano namang ilalagay ko sa view? So the next thing na gagawin ko, I'm going to create a directory under the view folder and I'm going to give it a name of account based on the um, account controller name. Ngayon, anong mga file na lalagay ko sa view? It will depend on our method. Like for example, since indexing method dito, then I'm going to make a file name for our view file as index.php. Same thing with the registration. Save lang natin muna as registration. And then for the login, login. Now, let's try to load that file. So dito, it should be under a particular um, folder. And then yung 
index file without the extension which is the .php and then dito naman and then for the login dito naman so at so at this particular approach um, malalaman natin na on this particular controller meron siyang mga file na index registration at saka yung login based on the method names okay so ngayon lalag maglalagay na tayo ng mga sample html file sa ating template file sabihin natin to um, profile title profile management system okay then dito maglagay lang muna ako ng h1 sabihin natin home page save then copy ko lang to sabihin natin sa login copy then sa registration Okay, so ngayon, since we already set up yung file natin, let's try to access that one. Okay, so para natin ma-access, we're going to have the account. If we're going to slash, sabi natin yung index. Actually, yung index, hindi naman siya nangisari na ilagay pagdating sa URL. Kasi the default method na babasahin naman is yung index. We're trying to enter this one. Object not found. Ah, kulang siya na kailangan tayo maglagay muna ng index.php then enter. Yan. Then if we're going, going to call the other method, sabihin natin yung registration. Yan yung registration. Then if we're going to call yung login, then yan naman yung login. Okay? So that's how we call yung mga method or mga pages of our application. Pero, Bakit mayroong index.php? Is there a way ba na pwede natin i-remove yan? Na once we try to access a page, yung URL niya is ganito na lang? Actually, there is. There is a way na ganun lang yung gagamitin natin. So that's the next thing na pag-uusapan natin. On the part of removing the index.php file. So paano? So hindi ko ganun ka-memorize yung mga codes pagdating on removing the index.php file. So, wherein, there's a need for us to create an htaccess file. So, let's try to look for htaccess on the part of the documentation of CodeIgniter. I guess it talks about the CodeIgniter URLs. Yun, ito. Removing the index.php file. So, ito yung code niya na ilalagay natin sa isang htaccess file. Okay? So, copy lang natin yan. And, balik tayo sa ating file. And, ilalagay natin yung htaccess file under the root directory. New file. Lagay natin. Save natin siya as dot htaccess. Then, save. Okay? So, once you do that, and if you try to access the page, something like this, accessible pa rin siya, basically. But if you're going to remove this one, accessible na. Kahit wala na yung index.php file. Kahit ito, home page, yung registration, registration, then yung login. Okay? So that's how we remove yung index.php file sa part ng URL. Okay, so kahit pa paano, mas nagiging maganda nang basahin yung URL natin, comparing yung kanina. Ngayon naman, um, what if gusto ko yung homepage ko ito? Kasi ngayon, yung homepage natin is yung kanang coordinator homepage. So anong gagawin natin para yung homepage is based sa ginawa natin? hindi yung sa coding nighter. So, all we need to do is to set up the default routes. So, ano ba yung default routes? Saan ba ito mahita? So, let's open the application folder, look for config, and go to routes.php file. And at the bottom part, may kita natin tong default controller. 
So, yung default controller will serve as the home page. Controller, uh, the default, the home page of our website. So, yung gagawin natin, since yung gusto kong maging home page is yung index natin dito, yung tatawagin ko yung account na controller. So, ilalagay ko account. Save natin yan. And then, i-refresh natin to. And yan. So, ganun lang kung paano tayo magsaset up ng homepage on this particular framework. Okay? Okay. Ngayon naman, um, let's try to integrate yung CSS or yung bootstrap file na dinownload natin kanina. Para at least magkaroon na siya ng design. And then, pwede na natin ma-utilize yung mga styles that was implemented on the bootstrap. Okay? So, first thing na gagawin natin muna is to um, auto-load yung helper na kakailanganin natin. First helper na kakailanganin natin for this part is yung URL helper. Kasi there are they have yung base URL at saka site URL na sinasabi to generate a specific link, especially for making a link or di kaya source referencing. So, all we need to do lang is to load yung URL. Now, if you are wondering saan ba ito mahanap, you can just check the documentation of Code Igniter. Sabi nating helper, hanapin mo lang yung helper. Tapos yung URL. Yan. So, this is how it load the helper manually. But, there is a way naman to load it um, using auto-loading. Kagaya yung kanina ginawa ko. Okay? So, if you want to know other um, yung mga functions na available sa helper na to, you can just read this documentation. Okay? Okay, so let's try to go back. So after doing that, the next thing na gagawin natin is to set up the base URL. So saan ba may kita yung base URL? May kita yan dito sa config file. So ito, ito yung base URL. So ano ba yung base URL? So yung base URL basically is ito, yung homepage link mo. That's your base URL or yung domain, sabihin natin yung domain name. Then, save natin. Ngayon, itong index.php file, ito yung nalalagay sa URL. Okay? So, since we already manipulated yung HD access, then we can now remove this one. Then, save it. Then, okay. So, done na tayo na ma-set up yung base URL at saka ma-autoload yung helper na kakailanganin natin. For... Um, source referencing on the part of yung sa mga CSS. Okay? Okay, so let me try to close other file here and go to the file. Sabi natin sa page. So dito, basically, yung paglink ng CSS is using the link tag. Yan. Then dito naman ilalagay natin yung, of course, yung CSS link. So, we're going to use yung um, base URL. So, let, let's try to echo kasi it will return the link. So, base URL. Yan. Then, anong ilalagay dito? It will be the CSS, yung bootstrap natin. So, assets. So, nandito siya. Tingnan natin. Assets under bootstrap under CSS. Then, kukunin lang natin dito yung minified version. So, assets, boot, strap, slash, CSS, slash, um, bootstrap, that mean that CSS. Yan. Then, ano pa? Kailangan rin natin yung sa minified version ng JavaScript. Script tag then we should indicate yung source. So, let's try to copy this one para mas maging madali. And change this JS. 
then change this into JS as well. Okay? So, na-source na natin to. Ngayon, yung JavaScript file ng Bootstrap is dependent to the jQuery file, which is yung kanina na download din natin, which is ito. So, let's cop let me copy this one. And source that particular JavaScript file. So, let me try to right-click and just copy the name. Okay? And paste it here. Yan. So, na-search na natin. So, if it works well, if you're trying to visit yung homepage and refresh this one, mag-iiba na yung design niya. Yan. nag -iba na. So, paano pa naman natin malalaman if talagang nasusource naman yung ibang file? We can just do some right-click. Um, view page source and then just click on that particular link. Yan. So, if makita na natin yung mga codes, therefore, we successfully source reference those files. Okay? And what about this one? Okay. So, successful na yung paglink natin. Ngayon, yung gusto kong gawin is maging available din siya sa ibang pages na ginawa natin. account. Yan. So, hindi pa siya implemented dito. If we're trying to check the I mean view page source, hindi pa siya implemented. So, we can just at the moment copy the code and implement it in the login file. Also, in the registration file. Okay. Okay. Yan. We're trying to go to login. Yan. Okay na. So, we successfully set up yung um, CSS or bootstrap file natin on our application. Okay?